Tavern on Rush is well known as a steakhouse. As far as I know, our customers, they want to see and to be seen. The priority of giving them a great service is by making them feel like at home, not just to take their money, but give them what they want and what they expect. We are a classic American type steakhouse, which welcome everyone and try to give them the full richness of the steak. Seafood is the best in town. Our lounge is one of the best lounges in the neighborhood, which attracts a lot of middle-aged people. When you tell some people who are 23 and up, they say, hey, Tower No Rush. Oh boy, they really have great drinks, good service, and you get a lot of attractive people around you. We do give them best food, fresh, and good service. So Nick, tell us about the food at Tavern and Rush. They call it Contemporary Steakhouse. Right. It's basically a meat and potatoes type place. I mean, you have your pizzas, uh, your stone oven pizzas that you, could, you can get. But uh, my favorite is the porterhouse. You get the little filet and mm -hmm. you get the strip. And it oh, is almost like uh, butter. It melts in your mouth when you eat it. And I actually had the uh, sweet onion and uh, olive oil and vinegar uh, tomato. Uh, with the onion, the sweet onion, and the buffalo cheese, which was awesome. And then uh, for dessert, you have to have the tiramisu. Tiramisu is out of this world. Um, I've taken a number of clients there. I mean, they're, they're, they have a green salad and the tomato bisque. Tomato bisque, phenomenal. You know, mm -hmm. it's nice. They don't put it through a sieve. It's, it's blended wonderfully. It's got a nice piece of French bread with some fancy, you know, phenomenal stinky cheese on top <laughs> and things along those lines. Stuff that makes everybody like it. Um, that and a salad is, is beautiful for lunch. So Jenny, you actually sat upstairs where they have sort of a horse and track thing. What did you think of that? I thought it was really nice. I mm -hmm. thought the decor was very masculine and very nice. It really made me feel like I was, you know, at an old school Chicago What did you have for uh, your meal there? You know, I had fish because I'm thinking, you know, in Chicago there's so many great steak houses mm -hmm. and, you know, um, my dining companion had the steak, which was amazing. Uh, but I had the halibut and it tasted very fishy <laughs> and it had um, pineapple relish on it and I couldn't taste the pineapple, it was weird. But the steak, I, I have to say, was memorable, it was amazing, It's very good. What did you think of your steak? You had the London broil? I did and uh, I'm a big fan of London broil. I mean, cremini mushroom sauce with, you know, reduction. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. It was good. It really was. I mean, the presentation, I mean, they bring out like the whole marbleized platter of here's what this cut is, here's what this is, and things along those lines. It's all nice and everything, but I'm telling you, I, I, I really felt, I'm sorry to say this to, to you, um, but I, I just feel that there's just so many great Chicago steakhouses mm -hmm. and it's interesting to hear you say that about like this had a real old school Chicago steakhouse feel because I completely disagree. I don't feel that it had anything to do with a Chicago steakhouse. I mean Gene and Giorgetti's, Chop House, Morgan, something along those lines. I mean those are places that I think about for mm -hmm. you know real Chicago steakhouses. Well, what was it about the atmosphere that's really took away from that? You know, I don't think the atmosphere really took away from it. The meat was good. Mm -hmm. I, was it great? I don't think so, but it was good. Um, you know, it's, I, I want to be like down in a cavern. I want to have <laughs> somebody come talk to me like this. Hey, Elvina, this is the steak that you're going to get tonight. And, you know, something like that. Nick, is there a difference between the type of people that perhaps will go to the upstairs reserve versus perhaps people that sort of congregate at the bar? No, I think it's it's all about the same. And it, mm -hmm. I think it's just what mood uh, you get caught up in. Uh, if you want to sit out in the street or if you want to just drink at the bar and have an appetizer mm -hmm. or if you want to go upstairs and have a serious dinner. It's mm -hmm. just your mood. Where do you like to sit? My favorite place to sit is outside. Mm -hmm. Just kind of, uh, you, you can kind of observe a lot of different things going on. You can smoke your cigar, not part mm -hmm. of the smoking ban in Chicago. Uh, but that's a, that's the place to kind of be. Mm -hmm. You can sit outside. You've got the people who are pulling up in their Bentleys and things on those lines. You got your little chunk of Rodeo Drive there. Mm -hmm. But my personal thing is like, 
that's where it ends. If you're a single woman and you want to go and sit at the bar and have <laughs> 10 Viagra Triangle men <laughs> kind of like go after you and things along those lines, absolutely go for it. But you know, that's kind of wow. where it ends for me. Well, Jenny, do you agree with the Viagra Triangle assessment? <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh my you. Goodness. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I felt like, um, you know, I was back in my high school prom again, and oh, it just seemed like everyone, you know, was very affluent, and it was kind of a homogenous kind of um, clientele, and especially, you know, being an Asian woman, I normally, you know, kind of notice if I'm the only one like me everywhere, and, um, you know, I pulled up in a minivan, and <laughs> it was caked in dirt because I, you know, park in a dirt parking lot, and... Everyone kind of just turned so over and looked at me as, you know, the help and all the really nice cars were parked out in front and I don't know where they put my car. They said probably. Millie took care of you though, exactly. right? Yeah, they exactly. were very nice. Well, it is the sort of place to go watch cars in Chicago. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, we were there Saturday night and uh, had dinner on Saturday night, had some cocktails, sat outside on the curb and, and had dinner and, you know, mm -hmm. hustle and bustle all around, but uh, Lamborghinis pulling up, or Ferraris, I mean. The only place in Chicago everything. that I know that you can see a Lamborghini, a Bentley, and something <laughs> yeah. else pull up in, in you know, like all within five. You, all before you get your dessert. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, well, Nick, you picked Tavern on Rush. Give us a summary. Well, I kind of disagree with the uh, uh, Viagra Triangle uh, theory. <laughs> You're going to go there for a great steak and potatoes. That's the place to be. All right. Matt? Too many good steakhouses in Chicago. Um, you know, if you're out of town, you're trying to get a guest to kind of give them what city living is all about or something along those lines, great. But send them somewhere else if you want a great steak. All right. Jenny? I thought they had a fine steak, but unless you're an affluent business professional, um, find a different restaurant. <laughs> Well, you can be part of the action at Tavern on Rush, 1031 North Rush Street, 312-664-9600. Open for lunch and dinner every day of the week. Reservations are recommended, and the average check per person without drinks is $50.